Hello viewers, welcome back to Oracle of Ages. Uh, apparently we freed a ghost that was trapped in a gravestone. I don't know, I thought ghosts wanted to go to a graveyard, but apparently it's the opposite, so... Yeah. I thought ghosts carried lanterns. Is that a blue lantern? I don't know. Or it's a clock. Okay, that's basically just the start of the trading sequence. Let's move on. So we're gonna go get some goodies, head to the village, into the woods like we were directed to, and hopefully make it all the way to dungeon number two. Although we might have, not have time in this video since we'll have all those goodies to get. We'll get close at least. My third heart piece. Sweet. At least, at least we don't need fire for heart like each some games. One game I'm thinking of. Now the gastro seeds don't work like you think. You would think. Like when I first played this game, I thought, okay, you should only plant them in the past, and then when you walk to the future, then they'll be fully grown. But no, no. You just have to wait for an actual in-game time to pass. So like that thing will be fully grown also later on, but in the present later on. You know what I mean? Anyway, for example, I planted this seed over here, but in the past, right? Of course, in the present, it's just a normal tree. It's not going to have the nut that I want. Anyway, let's get to the forest. Some job to do. Uh, let me just look at something here. Okay, good. Way. I've skipped lots of uh, paths and forks in the road that are mostly dead land, de either dead end or places will go later in the game, or both. So, all in due time. All in due time. That cave looks promising, and this water down here looks goopy and dangerous. I don't know about that. Anyway, this is basically the Lost Woods. You can go right, and you won't actually move one screen to the right. It's all messed up. But. Once you find the fairies, it gets fixed, so. And this music is gonna get annoying really fast, I can tell. It's like a minigame song or something. Speaking of which, which there's a minigame opening up soon in, I forget if it was the past or present. I think it's, I don't know, one of the two, but there's an archery game where you can ring one of, win one of four different fixed rings. Yeah, I'll be doing that one day. Not really in any rush to get on to that. There's number two. It's not the hardest. See, for most of these fairies, you can find it just by going left, right, left, right on the screen. Or up, down, up, down, and you'll randomly arrive at the right spot. But here, yeah, just go straight, in, straight to the left. At least from that fairy. There we go. Now, there's no real treasure we can collect in the forest here. So let's just move on to Dungeon 2 and... Except that... Oh, come on, Link, you're doing it wrong. Yeah, that's... But if it's collapsed in the present, then maybe in the past... Hmm. Problem is, all the warps ha are kind of... dead. Like, the warps when we took them last time had, like, the blue swirly on them. But now, right, if we go to them now, they're just like a, like a gray swirl on the ground, or a brown swirl on the ground. They're not, like, active. So we can't get back until we get something that makes it happen. So off to Nargus House. Or sometimes this is called Impa's House, since Impa is now the only one there. the mermaid statues. So we could have come here earlier, but there's nothing you can do there without the power bracelet. And even if you, I think even if you have the power bracelet, but you haven't done the Lost Woods thing, then she might be somehow standing in the way of this or something. 
but now she lets me in and all is well with the world. It's an instrument from Link's Awakening. Almost. Hero of Time. I've heard that before. Well, that's interesting. Oops. There we go. Yeah, I'm skipping through this text pretty fast, but she's not telling us anything important. So... We'll awaken time portals. That's good, because they were all asleep. Let's get a move on here. We've got lots to do. Lots to do. Oh, the Maku trees dropping marshmallows on me again. Are they leaves? I don't know. Obviously, that's what I'm doing. You'd think I would get that clue by now, but I gotta spell it out for you. Might as well take this work, because it's right here. Awesome. Okay, let's go back to the Lost Woods. Oh yeah, we should check on that Gasha seed we planted. I almost forgot. Yeah, eventually I think I might do some off-screen farming and like farm up a bunch of money. Um, one way to do that is just to wander around randomly with your shovel. I think I meant, might have mentioned this already, but walk around with your shovel and like dig randomly and you'll find either one or five piece rupees. It's a good way to get money early in the game. Mostly to identify all these rings we've been finding. What do we have now? Like four, five, three. Yeah, that's like and 20 gold each. That's or 20 rupees each. Yeah, that cave to the right is we can't progress in quite yet. And we can't get in there yet either. Um, where exactly am I going now? Right, I need to find... Oh, do I need to go there first? Oh yeah, I can't progress in the here first because I can't deal with that rock. Okay. There are... Oops. There's two treasures I can get here, though. Here we go. Here's one of them, for sure. Oh crap, I should have filled my seeds when I had the chance. Yeah, there's a... in the present... in the Linux City at the present there's a tree to refill your shrubs. You got a piece of heart. That's awesome. Of course you can also randomly find those uh, ember seeds from enemies and bushes and stuff. One left. Oops. Yeah, for example, if we dig around here, we might find an ember seed, or probably not. It's kind of rare. Anyway, where's the gash seed? I wrote it down here. Just there. Okay, it must be this one. Yeah, it looks like I might have to farm some uh, some gaffer seeds off screen as well as. No, 
Fox still have a shield? What are you talking about? Yeah, we passed a tree there with some green things on it. Those are the mystery seeds, the second seed for our seed bag. But... Thirty rupees from a chest, that's it? Where's my gasha seed? Huh. Well, I got some money at least. So next time, we find a gasher seed, we find the mystery seeds, hopefully some more ember seeds. And I'm out of time, so see ya.